let's add a little bit of levity with a sort of ridiculous story in my mind. As the father of the Club Q suspect is relieved his offspring isn't gay, which is so interesting to hear considering that the lawyers made the, the claim that he was non-binary. So Aaron Brink is the father of the terrorist. He was contacted by the attorneys and let him know what his son did. When he was told that five people were killed and 20 were injured at a Colorado Springs queer establishment, he didn't jump to the conclusion of, oh my God, I've raised a monster, or oh my God, what did I do wrong, or oh my God, how did he come to this? He went to, is he gay? Is he gay? But then they said, no, he isn't gay. He said, I'm glad. That's a relief. Now, this paragon of moral attitude is a former MMA fighter and coach and porn star. <laughs> now, I'm not, I'm not bashing either MMA or porn stars because I am very much a Sex, positive, sex worker positive person. But to come out, having worked in that industry, and essentially say that, you know, his greatest fear was not that his son was a murderer, but that his son was gay, does really kind of trigger a few things. Now, he went on to explain why he's Mormon and, you know, basically says that there's no gays in the Mormon church, which the gays in the Mormon church would severely disagree with that, but I digress. <laughs> um, but this individual, I mean, he was, you know, he eventually wakes up to what he's doing. He says, I'm sorry for your loss. Um, life is so fragile and it's valuable. Those people's lives were valuable. You know, they're valuable. They're good people. Probably it's not something you kill somebody over. I'm sorry. I let my son down. And I'm like, okay, um, I don't know where you're coming from or where you're going, but good luck getting there. 